So I jumped into a Minecraft world and then I came across a river. And I was like, hmm, let me just cross this real quick. Five hours later. That took way too long. So I need a quicker way of getting from one side to the other. How about a bridge? If I built a bridge right here, I could cross whenever I wanted. But that's too simple. Because what if a boat wanted to come upstream? The bridge opens, the boat goes through and continues its journey. The bridge then closes again. I come across and wander off into the forest. So we're going to use create mod and build a bridge. Right, so I've got some blocks and my idea was to use like a mechanical bearing. And then add some, like the actual bridge to it. And then when we glue it together and we come, come around, we have a hand crank, right? If we use the hand crank. We can move it up and down, but I don't want to do that because that means you'll have to raise one side, go to the other, and raise the other side with the hand crank, and then lower it. So, if we put down a creative motor, and then we get a sequenced gear shift, and when we add this to here, what we're going to do, we're going to turn it 90 degrees this way. Wait, I don't know, we'll just put four seconds for now, and then turn it 90 degrees back. And now when we activate it with something... I'm just going to use the torch. It's going to go. And then it's going to come back. But I just realised I did it the opposite way. So. It's going to go up. Wait. And then go back down. But rather than waiting, I thought, what if we had a switch for open and a switch for close? So what we do for this is we just have one on this side. And we'll do the exact same over on this side the opposite way so it closes it so that's forward so this one and now we can open it we can close it according to youtube 98 percent of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed with that being said if you do enjoy my videos please don't forget to mind that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video and leave a like right now i've got the materials so we're going to come down here get rid of this And now we'll start to build a bridge. So I want the bridge elevated above the water. Like I don't, I don't want it to be too low. So I want to like build some stairs up, maybe, or maybe some like stairs over here. I think that's like decent width for a bridge like this. Is that high enough? Would I say? Hmm. <sighs> um. Yeah, that should probably just about do. So now I'm gonna find the middle, and I'm gonna build like some supports for the bridge, like an arch. Or something like that. Make some stairs here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Four. Right. Now, I can count to the middle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, these two blocks are the middle. And I'm going to find the middle on the middle. And we'll go like, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, it's these two here. So I'm going to make the bridge come down here and here and then it can pass through the middle which is here i think right i'm gonna try and build an arch let's see how this goes i think that looks quite good for the width of the arches now i'm actually gonna make them into arches so i could probably make another layer like that how does that look Looks pretty good. So this little thing is what we have so far. I've made a couple more arches on them. Just to make it look better. Mate, I'm sick of flies. Anyway. Um, so I, th I think what I'm going to do is make two towers where the supports are. And then like a bridge going across the top of the towers. And then this bit opens. So we'll try something like that. Yeah. And then if I do something across like that, yeah, that's quite nice. Only thing is, I don't know how high to do the towers. Now we have one tower. Is it high enough for me to build a bridge though? We build a small bridge across the top just there. Maybe some stairs on the side. How would that look? I think that'll look pretty good if we put another tower here and it connected. And then that, that's the bit that opens there. Right, let's get started on the other tower. 
So that's that part done. Mate, that's another fly. Go away. Oh my god, I can't even hit it. So, as I was saying, that's the next part of the bridge. Now I'm just going to build it up a little bit higher, put a roof on both sides, and then hopefully we can get working on the mechanical bit. And I just realised I've not done the inside of this. Let's add some roof to this part if we do that. And then it would look alright if we did this, like a roof like this. Let's see. It's alright. It could probably look a little bit nicer. Let's see. Do you know what? I think that would actually look alright if we added some windows in. So, we'll get to adding some windows in. Oops. Stairs are always really good for windows. So, I added some small windows on the side now. And I'm currently doing a little bit at the front. It's starting to look a little bit better. I'm thinking maybe button down the side like that on both. What would it look like if I did that? Hmm slabs so that is one tower fully complete and there's the opening for the top walk bit and i was thinking maybe some stairs so it kind of looks like a castle wall kind of theme that looks a lot better and then we're gonna add what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build another tower here and then we'll add some decoration so i just finished the towers and i'm now doing like the little top bit of the bridge i think the towers look pretty good i mean i tried to fit some windows in with stairs it was the only way i could fit them in using stairs but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And then I need to add some windows in on this side. Windows in the middle. And I think it should be about done. Just finished the actual bridge. I think. I think it's all done, right? No. Now we just finished the bridge. And we're going to add in the little mechanical bearings and stuff. That's going to make it like flip, open and closed. And then we're going to use redstone links and add it to them. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Right. First, we're going to add our mechanical bearings to each side. And there. And then we're going to add in our sequence gear shifts. And then when we add our creative motors, the, here's the fun part. We get redstone links. And we put redstone links onto each one of these. And then this redstone link will have the same signal as this redstone link. So they can both open. And this redstone link over here will have the same one as this one. So they can both close. And then over here we're going to have another redstone link which is sending the signal for an open and a close button. So we put one there and one there. One around the back, the redstone link on each, and we'll give one a mechanical bearing signal and one a creative motor signal. And then we put these on top. This one can be open and that one can be closed. And then we're going to put mechanical bearing in there, mechanical bearing in there, creating motor in this one and a creative motor in that one. That'll be open and that will be closed. And I forgot to hit more with the wrench to make them receivers. We're going to go ahead and glue the bridge together we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and hit this one and look at that look at that the bridge is open and then come back hit this one and it's closed again and we can walk straight across all that's left now really is to decorate the rest of the bridge i'm thinking maybe some like um cobblestone or some mossy stone brick to make it look aged and then we're pretty much done add some in random places and then maybe some vines up the sides and there you go the bridge is complete thanks for watching like and subscribe bye